Ball four. He walked him. Over the second straight. That was a, he was on a great team at Sleep Day. In the air, straightaway center field. Plenty of room for Nunez, who backpedals. Now comes in a couple of steps as the wind catches it and blows it back toward the infield. And Nunez makes the grab. David Bishop holding him on over there. Line towards the gap in right center field. This ball's going to get down and go all the way to the wall. Davis will have to play it at the base of the wall. They're sending man all the way around from first, and he will score. It's 1-0 DBU here in the second on the RB. See what he goes back to here. Got him on a swing and a miss. And a really good pitch that time by Chase Hoover to get the strikeout. 3-1. Missed inside, ball four. No runners at first and second, two outs. A run in for DBU. They lead it 1 0. Is... Bouncer back towards the middle. Silva is there, and the underhands to second base where Richardson's covering the bag for the force. But 330 for Bowen. This ball's in the air to deep right center field, but Grady with room able to ring that. You'd have to go all, all the way back to March 18th. Swing and a miss by Bishop, and he's down on strikes with the second out of the inning. I think. That ball's lined towards right center field, and again, Grady's over to make the catch. Hang all the time. This is the 84th meeting. Bouncer left side. To his left is Braden Taylor, and then he airmails the throw. Either way. Sky to right field. Davis has a beat on it. Waits for it to come down and makes the catch. Upton Stadium. I mean, that's a, a pretty amazing thing. There goes Grady, cut on and missed, throw down to second, not in time. It's a stolen base for Jace Grady. That ball got away from Curtis Bernie, picks it up and then throws it wild into left field. And a run is going to score. Start the inning. That pitch missed inside, ball four. In error on what was in a routine ground. Still a lot of baseball left, swing and a miss and down on strikes. Goes Ethan and just makes your ball club that much better. Ball four. To the one run allowed. Swing and a miss, he got the strikeout. And that will do. He has been struggling at the plate. Just a chance to get Maxwell going and that ball is lined sharply. But Poole able to make the catch. Make contact and does a great job of going the other way. He gets that one right between Speck and the third base bag. And he's going to be held to a single on a great play by Sartisu Steele. An awful lot of bases. This one's in the air to straightaway center field. Easy chance for Humphreys, though. And he makes the catch for out number two off almost all year. That ball's drilled down the right field line. If it's high enough, it's gone. It is a home run for Braden Taylor just inside the foul pole, and we are tied at two. 14th home run of the year for Braden Taylor. And it was just a line drive that creeped right around that foul. He ranks now. He's got himself tied for third overall in career home runs with Chad Huffman now. In the air, shallow left field coming on is the left fielder, Grant Jay, and he makes the catch to retire the side, but the left fielder who leads things off. That one is lined in the left field, base hit. That one is lined down the right field line for extra bases. Davis slides on his knees to get to it, but he won't be able to stop. Pool from making it to second base with a double at the plate. Bouncer to the right side. This will score a run over his bishop. He'll underhand to Stoutenborough covering the bag, but a run score. On the ground, this will get a run home. Richardson Fields goes to first for the out. And it's now a 4-2 ball game. Second base position. On the ground, Silva right there to gobble it up. Unloads quickly, and the inning's over, but not before. Battle back from another two-run deficit. Davis swinging on that offering, pops it up. 
Shallow right field. Coming on is the right fielder, Jace Grady, and he makes the catch for the out. Tonight flew out to Grady in right, his first time up. Pops this one up. Shallow center field. Second baseman going out behind the bag, and Bishop strikes out, looking on a fastball over the outside corner, and it's 1-2-3 for the Frogs. Here's the 2-2 uh, two -two bouncer. Bishop feels it. He'll take it to the bag himself. That one's in the air to deep right center field. Davis back at the track at the wall. See ya! 12th home run of the year for Ethan Mann. His 51st run batted in, and it's now a 5-2 DBU lead. On the ground, right there is Trey Richardson. Able to field the second or third batting averages in this DBU lineup, and Santos is one of them. This one is skied in the shallow right field. A couple of feet on the outfield grass. Trey Richardson takes charge and makes the catch for the five hits, five runs for DBU. Silva hits this one to straightaway center field, backpedaling his Humphreys near the track, makes the catch. At the middle, right? And Pulled fair through the right side for a base hit for Logan Maxwell. Well, two good swings from Maxwell so far tonight. Maxwell takes off. That one's lined up the middle of base hit. Maxwell was on the move. He's going to go first to third on the play. And Nunez with his second hit of the night. That one is looped towards right field. Grady makes the catch. Tagging is Maxwell. The throw's going to go to second. And TCU gets a run back on the sacrifice fly by Trey Richardson. Sammy Ball facility, that's exactly where the field was. That one is pulled on the ground right into the teeth of the shift. And then the throw to first base is in time as Poole was able to get up and get with big arms. Strike three call, good pitch from Vanderhei. Painted the outside corner and down. Nathan Humphreys at the plate. That one's hit back up the middle and through for a base hit. 94 mile an hour fastball and Humphreys is Arkansas. All of those home games, that pitch hits him and Miguel Santos will head down to first base. Runner two times up, he's uh, walked. Double steal, no throw. With a couple of stolen bases. Swing and a miss, Vanderhei. With a big strikeout as he strikes out. Miller accounting for it. two of the three runs. That's a great bunt. And it's going to result in a base hit for Braden Taylor. He's been trying to do that, Connor. Curtis bounces that one through the right side. Base hit. Braden Taylor heading for third. It's going to be a close play to throw. Not in time. Here. Davis taking all the way. Ball four. And they're loaded up. Chance to tie it up with a base hit. Lines this one to deep right center field. This ball's got a chance, and it is gone! A grand slam for Carson Bowen, and the Horn Frogs have taken the lead. This one's in the air to right field and deep. Back goes Grady. He's at the fence and he makes the catch right against the wall. Carson Bowen, line drive down the right field line. This is going to go for extra bases. Silva takes the turn. He's heading for second and then puts on the brakes. As Maxwell lines it the other way for a base hit. And it's good night. Four infielders in on the grass. They'll try and cut the run off and it's ball four high. And the bases are loaded. In the air to right field. This should score a run. The catch is made by Jay. The runner tags the throw to the plate. Not in time. And a big insurance run for TCU. He's able to beat it out easily. In the air. Left field. Grant Jay near the line. Makes the catch to end the inning. But TCU said right was up and throwing to start the inning. And it's a four-pitch walk. To... That one's in the air, straightaway center field. 
Easy chance for Nunez, who drifts towards right center and makes the catch one away. Silva wants to Richardson. Bounces this one back to the box. Vanderheil take the out at first base, and they're two away. Bouncer towards the middle of the infield. Richardson feels and fires, and the ball game is over. TCU comes back to win.